Welcome back to Physics in the Yoshi. Today we're here to talk a little bit more about statics, uh, about rigid bodies in equilibrium, and we're going to talk a little bit about a um, little bit more complicated statics problem here. So we have a ladder, and on that ladder is a firefighter, and the weight of the ladder is not negligible in this case. We have a ladder that weighs 355 newtons, and we have a firefighter that weighs 875 newtons, and oh, I forgot to put the distances there. Uh, this is of 8 meter ladder and along there is 4.0 meters and from the center that's 2.3 meters. So if we look at that then that's that's our, our problem. So the ground is has friction on it and the wall here has no friction so we're going to figure out what the um, normal force of the wall pushing back on the ladder is and we're going to find the um, and we're going to find out how much gravity there is, and we're also going to figure out this guy here, which is, this guy is fairly trivial, but we'll show that in a moment. So how are we going to do that? Uh, the, by the way, this G stands for the, the force of the ground that's pushing up in the Y direction, and the GX is the force of the ground pushing in the X direction. And in this case, hopefully you've seen that this guy looks like it's friction, so I'll just label that as the force of friction as well. And this guy here really is just the normal force, as is this guy. So this is the normal force of the ground, and this really is the normal force of the wall. Okay? So, let's figure out what these guys are. And I'll use my notes here to help me out. But um, all we're going to do is the same thing we did before. And that is we just have to remember that the sum of our forces is going to be zero in equilibrium. Or in, in static um, equilibrium. And also we have the sum of our torques is going to be zero. Again, these are, those are vectors. But we, have, we just use those equations. Now, in this case, we're going to need to break it up in x and y for our forces, and then our torques are just torques, and we're going to figure that out. Okay? So in the x direction, let's look at the x direction first. In the x direction, we have two forces. We have gx and we have the p. So in the x direction, we have, let's just call the right, um, we'll call that positive. So we just have gx minus P must be zero. And that's all we can do. So then we can just say, then that's going to say that GX is P. So once we find P or we find GX, then we can figure out what the other one is. Okay? In the Y direction, so again, this is some of our forces in the X direction is zero, and we'll have in the Y direction all the same thing. Some of our forces in the Y direction is zero. In the y direction, we have three forces. We have GY, which is going up. We have W, the weight of the ladder, and we have the weight of the firefighter. So we can just say GY, the ground force, minus the uh, weight of the ladder, minus the weight of the firefighter is zero. Okay, in this case, we have both the ladder and the firefighter weight. So we can just say that GY is weight of the ladder plus the weight of the firefighter, which is uh, 355 newtons plus 875 newtons. So GY then must be the sum of those two guys, and GY is 1,230 newtons. Okay? So the force is fairly simple. Now, now the choice is going to be where do we want to rotate this around? And there's some good choices and some not as, not as good choices. They're all, they would all be fine. You could choose probably the logical choices are here at the corner, at the center of mass of the ladder, at the place where the firefighter is, or at the top around uh, point P where, P where the ladder touches the wall. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and go around this guy here. That way we can get rid of two forces. These forces now act exactly on the, the, the point we're rotating around, so they will give us zero torque. So when we look at our torques, some of our torques is zero. We're just going to figure it out from here. So we have the, uh, let's go down here, I guess. Um, weight of my fire, weight of my ladder times the L there. I'll just call that L1 plus 
And that's going this direction is causing it to go counterclockwise, so that'll be negative. And then we'll have a negative weight of the firefighter times L2. I'll just call that L2. And then we have plus P coming back this way times L3 is zero. Now we have to be a little bit careful here because um, we don't, oops, oh, we have one other thing that I forgot and that's the 50 degrees here. We have to look and see, we want the perpendicular um, distance there. So really what we want is where this guy would touch there, how far is that? That's the L we want. Well, that's not this L, but that would be, um, we could figure that out by sines and cosines, by our trigonometry. We have this guy here, and we have this guy here acting at this distance. Okay, so how are we gonna do that? Well, let's figure out this guy. We're really trying to find P, so we could solve this guy for P. So P times L3 is going to be weight of the ladder times L1 plus the weight of the firefighter times L2. Or we can then divide both sides by L3, and then we get the P is weight of the ladder times L1 plus the weight of the firefighter times L2 divided by L3. Now, in order to find um, the, the really what we need to do is find this distance here and this distance here, and this distance here. And so using a little trigonometry, we can see that um, this guy is 50 degrees. That means this guy here, the L1, if you will, must be um, this guy here, which is the four meters times our cosine of 50. This would be 6.3 times cosine of 50. And this guy over here was gonna be uh, because of Parallel lines, this guy here is going to be 50 degrees, so this would be P times um, the 8 meters times our sine of 50. Okay? So, uh, let's go ahead and I'm running out of room. Oh, I don't want to get too low because it's no fun to draw down there. So, P is WL, which is the firefighter or the ladder. So that's 355 newtons. And that's going to be 4 meters times cosine of 50 degrees. And then the weight of the firefighter is uh, 875 newtons times uh, 6.3 meters. Again, times cosine of 50 degrees. Divide that guy by, uh, what is this guy, uh, 8 meters times, in this case, sine of 50 degrees. And when you do all that math, you end up at figuring out that P is 721, oops, 727.1 Newton. Okay, once we know that, we know that G is the same, so we know that GX must also be 727.1 newtons. We can plug it in over, so I think that's all. I think that's it. And then we have all our forces that we don't know, we didn't know before. GX and P, and we also have um, GY over here. So, we, you can see that by summing all our forces, knowing that they're going to be zero, there's no acceleration, it's not moving, it's not rotating, so we know the torques, some of our torques must be zero. We can solve static problems where there is no motion just by knowing, summing up our forces, getting them to zero, summing up our torques, getting them to zero, and then figuring out whatever we, it is we need to figure out. So, um, hopefully you'll be able to use this in, in solving up these static problems, these problems of rigid bodies in equilibrium and to put them to good use for your physics knowledge. Uh, hopefully tune in again next time and uh, thanks for tuning in for Physics with Miyoshi.